Vermicomposting or composting with worms is an excellent way for you to divert your waste and to get some great nourishment for your plants. But oftentimes we're like, how the hell do I separate the worm castings, their shit, from the worms? Well, let me show you how you can harvest. I'm gonna show you three ways that you can harvest today and the pros and cons to each. Hi, I'm Compost Fairy. Welcome to my channel. First, I just wanna say welcome to any new subscribers and then welcome back to my OGs. I'm so happy that all y'all are here with me. I'm just happy that I can grow, explore, and do the damn thing with you. So, let's get into it. We're gonna harvest my worm castings. I'm gonna show you three different ways and the pros and cons to each. Let me preface this by saying these three methods won't get all of the worms sifted through. You will have to pick some out, but there are ways that you can just try to sift the, uh, to like separate the worms. Um, and once you kind of see what they are, I think you can decide like, oh, this is going to be a little bit for me or what won't be good for you. But you will have to kind of pick out some worms because not all three methods will gather all of them like you want to. The first method is just to use a regular old sifter. What you can do is grab a handful of castings and go ahead and just put it on top. I like to spread it around. What's nice is that it does get the finer particles put down to the bottom but the worms can go through. That's kind of a con if your holes are like kind of bigger than mine or big like mine. Mine aren't even that big, but the worms are still getting through. So I just kind of end up picking them out and throwing them back in the bin. Pros to sifting is that it does get the uh, finer particles down there. Um, and it is a good way to be able to like separate the big pieces from the smaller pieces. And then you can use those bigger pieces in your next bin. Um, but like I said before, the worms can go through the grates if your holes aren't big enough. I mean, aren't small enough. And so um, that is kind of a con because you have to pick them out from the bottom. But let me show you what it looks like if you sift it. I've already started sifting a bunch of it already. Um, but this is like the final product. It looks so fucking good. Um, but you can see there's still some worms in here. So that's kind of like them falling through the grate. But most of them are out. Um, and the soil is nice. Ooh, there's another one and moist. Well, the worm cast is nice and moist. So I'm excited to use these. The second method I want to show you is feeding one side. So this side I kind of already harvested, but I had put food on this side and they ate it all. But if you look over here, there's a lot of worms over here um, because I fed this other side. So you see this pumpkin right here. So that right there serves as a source of food for them. And they really love the leaves. And so having the leaves in here has been really great too. So you see they, they're like all up on the leaves. So this side got the food and that's why most of them are over here. Pros to this is that you can get most of the worms to go to the side that has the food on it. And then you have a way easier time of picking through the castings and sifting it. There still will be worms on the other side. I did deal with that. That's why there are worms in that bucket right there. But it's okay because not as many as could have been in there. So I'm not tripping. But yeah, feed one side, let all of them travel to that side and then scoop out the castings from the side that doesn't have the feed food. You'll see some worms, but you can pick them out. It won't be as many, so it'll be okay. And method three is making piles, little piles, and then kind of scooping them out. So the worms don't like light. So when you expose them to the light, they start to go down. Um, so you, you don't see any in this pile right now, but if I were to pick up this handful, oop, they kind of travel low, so that's good. Um, you don't see any in this handful, really. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more. There they go, they're at the bottom. They don't like that light. So I can kind of scrape off the top and the sides and kind of get the castings from there and then leave these in the middle so that I can just throw them back into the bin. It's okay if there's castings in the bin because that will actually help for inoculation for the next bin. So yeah, when you get them from the piles, they like to kind of bunch up, which is really good because you can get the castings that are around them. So with the piles, I'll just kind of grab the part that doesn't have a bunch of worms in it and just put that on top of the sifter. Like I said, there will be some worms, but it won't be as many as, um, are in that pile. And so, yeah, I can just kind of grate those through. Pros to the pile method is that um, they will travel to the bottom so you can kind of scrape off the top. Cons is that it takes a little bit of time and you will still be, like like with any of them, have worms that will kind of sneak through or will kind of go in 
Um, so whether you sift it or just throw it in a bucket. Yeah, that's the cons for that. Okay, I know that was kind of quick, but um, I just, it's getting dark, so I have to hurry the fuck up. <laughs> um, but I just want to show you those three methods. So once again, having a sifter and just putting them on the sifter, you can feed one side. So feed one side of the bin with like pumpkin and, or whatever the fuck you want to feed them. Let them all travel to that side and then scoop out the other side and do the opposite thing. And the last one is making your piles, making small little piles. And just kind of scraping off the top that doesn't have the worms in it and then letting the bottom part with the worms go back into your bin thank you so much for watching i hope this was helpful um i've been trying different harvest methods because honestly i kind of hate harvesting worms because it just since they fall through everything i'm just like fuck but it is good getting the casting so it's like you just gotta do what you gotta do um but thank you so much for watching let me know if you have any questions um please don't forget to like subscribe comment and share it really does help me out and i really appreciate it um let me know if you want to see more of this or if i didn't cover anything i know i went kind of quick um but yeah thanks y'all for um rolling with me rocking with me um and can't, i can't wait to grow explore and do the damn thing with you next time have a good one bye